An airfield during an operational readiness exercise is a very busy, hectic place. Planes are taxiing and taking off, and maintainers rush to get aircraft ready for their next mission. However, at Misawa, just hundreds of feet away from all of the hustle and bustle, sits Airman First Class Brett Carter. He's a fuels operator, and for the next 12 hours, the inside of this fuel truck will be his home as he waits to gas up Misawa's F-16s. It is. This is by definition hurry up and wait. Uh, I mean, going to the transition points, meeting up with our expediters, getting here to the parking area. It's go, 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 and then as soon as you get here, it's definitely a wait. Um, we watch the aircraft taxi off, and you know it's so exciting to watch them take off, but then you're, you're just waiting for them to return. Airman Carter said some of his fellow fuels airmen will bring books and some will bring homework, but he prefers to just sit and enjoy the quiet. Because he knows when you're all alone, you have to keep your focus any way possible. You just have to be there. I mean, you have to understand that, the, that what we're doing is important. We're putting fuel on aircrafts that have a mission. They have a purpose. They have a specific job that they have to get done. I mean, if we don't go put fuel on those aircrafts, they're not flying. And I mean, how, what are we? They, we're the Air Force. What are we without aircrafts? Every airman in the trucks brings everything they'll need for the next 12 hours. But unfortunately for them, their trucks don't come with the ability to take care of nature's call. So we have radio calls for that. Basically, we're going to call our expediter and say, hey, I've got a 10-100, 10-200, and they're, they're going to come escort us to the nearest facility so we can take care of our needs. And even though sitting in a truck for an entire shift may not seem like the most high-profile job, Airman Carter says he knows exactly what's at stake. I mean, essentially, we are LRS. We move Misawa in the, the literal sense. Nobody moves without specifically POL, everything runs off of fuel. So while Masawa's maintainers stay busy getting jets ready to fly, Airman Carter sits and waits, ready to do his part to move Masawa. Master Sergeant Joshua Gray, Masawa Air Base, Japan.